When we get into mid to late part of the growing season, it becomes more difficult to supply nutrients to the crop, particularly since we have an actively growing crop out there that demands a high amount of nutrients on a daily basis. With the mobile nutrients, we know that if we apply it to the soil surface, one of the things that will happen is that it becomes very difficult for that nutrient to get down to the roots where it's going to be taken up. In theory, foliar fertilization gives us an option, particularly with nutrients that, like micronutrients that are needed in a low amount, to supply the nutrients in a more efficient way that they'll be absorbed through the plant and the plant will take up more of the nutrients that are applied. So we start looking at making in-season corrective measures, we start seeing foliar fertilization become more of the go-to option for many growers to try to supply some of those nutrients that they think they need for that particular crop. Some of the tips that we usually would recommend for application of foliar nutrients, really first and foremost, would really be looking at whether or not you need it. So in terms of looking at whether or not you need it, it would be trying to find some sort of tool that can help you more accurately determine whether or not a nutrient is going to increase yield once it's applied. The second tip would really be looking at keeping your rates low. Uh, with most of our foliar applications, one of the issues that we do know that we face is damage to the leaf tissue with over application. So it's one of the things you want to watch with the rates being applied is to make sure that the rate you're applying is not actually causing more harm than good when we're applying nutrients. And the third tip I would have would be going and looking at the compatibility of what you're trying to apply. This is particularly important when we start talking about trying to mix with fungicides and herbicides and also surfactants with some of these, these foliar nutrient mixes is that these, all these things when mixed together can cause increased damage potential. So one of the things you really want to go is either talk to your supplier or go in and look at some of the documentation for whatever you're applying and try to pick some part of that mix or maybe change your application strategy to try to prevent damage from occurring because really what we're trying to do is increase yield not decrease yield from the application. Mm -hmm.